how this program came about, just a real quick history. In 1989, we had a little earthquake up in Northern California. Remember their little 7.1? Well, I got to go up there and work for a couple weeks, so I traveled from Maryland to Northern California, went to every disaster, earthquake management school, etc. And during all this process, and after coming back from the earthquake, the chief of the fire department said, I want to do one thing that's going to change how people respond to earthquakes. I want to know what can we do in this community to make a difference. And I said, well, the biggest risk I see is the schools are completely unprepared. And the problem is, is that's where we send our kids every day. Now, coincidentally, I was working with a risk manager there in this community, and she just got a her job and her job was to create a new disaster plan because they had a little school plan but it was just a generic plan so I met with her she created this plan and then my job was to go out on the engine company with my guys and watch the school sites do their drills and we did after about four visits we said oh my god we're in trouble and that's when we realized we got to develop a training for the schools because all the schools have got to do search and rescue triage, disaster first aid, shut off utilities. Oh yeah, and get rid of the kids, right? Because parents got to come pick them up, so they got to be organized. So there needs to be a command structure. And the problem is, all they had was a book that said, evacuate, do search and rescue, set up triage, do first aid. So where's, and then they tell the third grade teacher, by the way, that's your responsibility, you're on triage. And she just shakes her head and goes about her business. And then once a year, we do a drill, they evacuate to the outside, they take roll, then they go back in the classroom. Sound familiar? Yeah. yeah. So out of that was born this program to get schools up to speed, and that's what we're gonna get today. Here's the neat byproduct of the class today. You guys are gonna get all these skills to take home with you. I mean, yeah, you can use them at work, which is kind of a neat thing, but the reality is you're probably going to use it sometime in your life when you're not even at work. Because the skills you're going to learn today, you can apply to day-to-day -to -day life. Car accidents, somebody passes out at your home, what do we do? And you know what's interesting is two-thirds of the population, two-thirds of the population say they wouldn't know what to do or feel comfortable trying to save a life. We're going to change that today. Another third says, well, they would try, but they don't think what they would do would probably be correct anyway. We're going to talk about the myths that are out there, first aid myths like burns. So if we go around the room today, how many different treatments do you think we'd get for burns? Anybody like butter? <laughs> Mustard? Egg whites? That's a real popular one on Google right now, the internet, egg whites and burns. That's not a good idea, is it? Why is egg whites a bad? And by the way, you can read all the sites. There's, there's 50 of them that says it's a great idea. What's the problem with egg whites and burns? Track bacteria in your egg whites is full of what? Salmonella. Absolutely correct. Just common sense, right? When you apply just common sense to some of this stuff, you look at it. And by the way, as we go through the class, you're going to find out a couple of truths. One is TV is not real. Well, except for the Kardashians, that's reality TV. But the rest of it, <laughs> and we'll talk about it as we go along through the class. You guys ready to get going?